Praise God, praise God. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, go ahead, let me know if you can hear me and see me. Because, um, hmm, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Praise God, praise God. Well, my lighting is, uh, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. but Praise God, praise God. Let me know if you can hear me and see me, everyone. Praise God. Somebody say, mic check, mic check. Praise God, hallelujah. Let me know if you can hear me or see me. Or uh, both. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. God bless you. Well, um, my title is just very simple to the point. I might as well just tell you what time it is. And if you don't know, the true people of God know. You can't, the true children of God, you can't sleep even these days and night. I'm talking about the, the power of God is really coming on this earth like never before. And he said that. And he said, in the last days, I will pour my spirit on all flesh come on somebody hallelujah you don't hear what i'm saying so it, it's not that it's not here it's are you receiving it come on somebody hallelujah so let me go ahead and, and get to what i'm saying number one ain't nobody hating and, and the reason why my title says have you ever seen a rich prophet in the bible because regardless of what anybody say or do i'm apostolic baby and apostolic we don't play we, we carry that heavy anointing i didn't ask for it but guess what i got it and guess what i'm gonna do what i got to do with it hallelujah and one of the things is it's not even about judging i'm so sick of y'all with that y'all might as well just take that one and throw it away but I, what i what we're supposed to do is say what god said to say and, and i'm so tired of this one first of all there's more pimps in the church than anything. Pimping God's people. Y'all talk more about, you know, the money that y'all collected. And yeah, I I'm coming for you. Because a couple of y'all, y'all are put on y'all posts. Don't, don't come for us. Let me tell you something. That's what we do. Especially apostolic people. Honey, we all down your street. You see, apostolic people, let me tell you how we do this. We answer what others are afraid to. We chase them demons that y'all run from, honey. Hallelujah. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. And I'm so sick of this. It's a business to y'all. It ain't about nothing else. It's a business, honey. Because guess what? You can't even lay hands and heal nobody, honey. Ask your pastor to do that. Oh, yeah, they could pull in some money, honey. But they can't heal nobody. That's what I'm talking about. You sitting up there and ain't nobody hating because that's the first thing y'all like to talk about, that word hate. Y'all don't even know what that means, by the way. Come on, somebody, because my head made me greater. Hmm. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Let's keep it on what I'm talking about. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. Y'all get up there and y'all making that money. Y'all making that money. But half of y'all don't even know what healing and deliverance is. You have no anointing, God says. And that is not cool. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there talking about what a wonderful time you had. I'm going to challenge everybody that's on this live. Here's what I want you to start doing. I want you to tag and share this. I don't want to hear about the good time you had. I don't care how much money you raised. I want to know one thing. Two things, actually. Did you have an altar call? Uh, number two, anybody got saved? Don't play with me. I ain't, I ain't talking about anybody come to the altar. Anybody got saved? Get out my face with that. We raised this and we raised that. Oh, yes. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, when I found out this calling on my life, I questioned. I was like, God, you know. Because I had some mentors, and I'm going to be very, I'll tell you, before I die, I'm telling it all, hallelujah, got nothing to lose, y'all don't hear me. Um, question, why do you go so hard, and why do you do, because God put it on me, it's a mandate, and hold on, I get corrected too, so don't even get it, don't get it twisted. We have a desire in us, and a spirit in us, we hate what God hate, and we love what God love, as simple as that. It's kingdom business. It's not personal. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So don't take it personal. It's kingdom business. And I hate it. I hate that people are not getting healed and delivered for real. I hate that it's just a business. I hate that it's about just what you wear. I hate that it's about clicks, tricks, crook, and hook. I hate it. Because when I got saved at 27 years old, and I'm fi almost 50 now, it was real. I at least had the chance. And I hate it because these young people, or even older people, it doesn't matter who you are, they have a slim chance to know finding a real church that don't want to hurt them, or the pastor don't want to sleep with them, or this one don't want just their money. Oh, come on, somebody, what y'all, hello? I'm just telling the truth up in here. That's why I don't go to just anybody church, and I don't roll with just anybody. 
You know, I, I remember when I first started, you know, everybody want to be with the clicks and everybody want to be with the name brands. Yeah, I call them name brands because that's what it is. Just like in the world, name brand. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care to be with anybody that God don't want me to be with. Point blank. And, and I, I'm not about numbers, honey. I, I stopped being doing that long time ago. I could care less if it's one or a thousand. You don't hear what I'm saying. I'm going to preach to that one as if it was a thousand. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So... I'm just praying that y'all understand. Y'all searching for these churches. And and I'm going to say something. Because it's the truth. Especially in the South. Y'all got to hear it. Y'all know that church ain't got no anointing. Mm, I'm going there. Y'all just there because guess what? They look anointed. Yeah, I said that they look anointed. But they ain't got no anointing. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm calling it out. They ain't got none anointing. They got some anointment probably somewhere in the back. But they ain't got no anointing. <laughs> How people gonna get saved and healed and delivered for real? You don't wonder why people backsliding. Because they ain't got no power with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost ain't running that church. Hmm. I'm telling you not. I'm coming on my timeline talking about uh, this or that. Because I'll come for you just because. Especially if God give me the go ahead. And I don't think I ever, I don't, I don't ever just do something out of flesh. So, I don't, so let's get that clear right now. But if, if, I, if I say God, and he, he say, get him, I'm coming. Because it's ridiculous. People are dying. This, 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 this gospel is real. Y'all think the 12 apostles did something. God is about to, he, he's about to light the church fire, the true ones. We're going to blaze this mother up. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And ain't nobody going to be able to stop. Because you can't stop. God and you can't stop the power of God hallelujah and yes yeah, coming to your church yeah all right that's all God told me to say because you know I get beside myself huh somebody stop <laughs> they ain't ready for me all right God bless y'all I love y'all but I'm just saying if you're gonna do church let it be church stop with the business stop with the business then y'all even know how to how to do business anyway y'all don't even do altar calls no more and if half of y'all don't wonder why y'all y'all not blessed, I'm going to tell you why. Because you're sowing into... Money is a covenant, by the way. Let me go ahead and, and get this last point. Money is a covenant. And some of you are attached to something that is not of God. That's why your money funny. Yeah. So God bless y'all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers. Because that is who you are. <laughs>